I did everything that I was asked. I sacrificed myself, my family. I led us into the new world. I thought that it would be glorious. I was wrong. I have waited so long for someone to come. I've begun to despair. I have seen your face before. God showed it to me in a dream. I knew you would be the one to come and make things right. Set them exactly the way they're supposed to be. I knew that you would bring salvation. You've come seeking help. I can't give you any, only God can. He has a plan for you. Come. Walk with me.
the help that you've been seeking. God's gift to us. That which sustained my family through the darkest time. First time that I partook of this gift, I was confronted by a ravenous beast. It was my soul. And in that moment, I knew that in order to be worthy of God's gift, I had to slay that beast. I had to cleanse my soul. Because if I did not, I knew that that beast would consume me. This is God's test. And it's your soul. Go. Kill the beast. If your soul is pure, you are the shepherd sent by God, and I can return from my exile. Our miracle allowed us to survive, but its gifts are not unconditional. It nourishes what is in a person's soul. But if that soul is corrupt, the miracle extracts a terrible price.
That is why I am here. There are those who must not be allowed to partake of this miracle. Even if I love them. Even if they are of my family. Sin is a beast we cannot be. Our future depends on adherence to my strictures. We can no longer hope for Joseph to save us. He is not coming back. We must put him out of our minds and... and... Father. Ethan. Father? The father. Where have you been? Our land is under siege, our people threatened. You disappeared. You left us when we needed you most. Why? To hear God's plan, my son. To hear God's plan. My children. I know that you are... And I know that you are afraid. I've been gone from you for a very long time. But you were not abandoned. God spoke to me, and he has shown me a path out of this darkness. We will no longer hide behind these walls. We will no longer simply hope that this plague of locusts leaves us in peace. The time to fight is now. God has sent us his sword. Here! God has tested their soul and it is just and it is pure. And I stand here before you to bear witness that this outsider is our shepherd. Father! And together, we will battle against the hordes outside our gates and together we will march towards the future that God has promised us. No! You abandoned me. You abandoned us. Without a word, without instructions, leaving me to lead as best I could. And now, now, you return. As if descended from the clouds and presumed to lead? Yes. I am the leader. Joseph is our leader. New Eden follows me! We stand behind the Father. Son, I know you carried a heavy burden in my absence. I understand that. This is God's will. And sometimes we must sacrifice that which we want in order to honor God's command. What have you ever sacrificed? Someday you will see the light. I promise. Come, let us all go together. We have much. Be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Go in peace. My child, I have something for you. Already my chosen fight the highwaymen throughout the long nights. Now I will ask them to find the strength to fight in the day as well. Your friend should make good use of the distraction and act quickly. My family cannot fight forever. As for you, remember God's gift. What you have experienced so far is just a taste of God's power. 
do not waste it. I will also give leave for my judge to follow you. They speak only one language, that of violence. In this, they will serve you well. Before you can be our shepherd, you must be our sword. Go, and make the land safe for all who wish to live in peace. Admire your fortitude. Fortitude. I hope Ethan will see the wisdom in looking for the Father right now. 